All right. Amen. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, uh, church family. Good morning to, uh, you know, people that's watching, that's viewing this. I don't know you, but good morning to you. Uh, today is uh, July the 2nd, Thursday, 2018. But uh, I'm coming back yet again with uh, part two of uh, the end of this earth age or the end of this world system. And I just want to, uh, you know, refresh you all. That we're reading in chapter Matthew chapter 24 verses we read verse 1 through 24 so now we read verse 25 through um 51 and to my uh bible study um uh, you know church family you know uh you know i'm not gonna be there this thursday and like i say uh we just going over this first so next week I want to finish up Jude, you know, when I be able to come back. Uh finish up Jude and then we hitting we hitting straight into Revelation. But uh I just wanted to get this give you guys a recap and give you, you know, wills and knowledge and understanding of what's going on right now in this world. Because I know it's a lot of people, you know, they caught up, you know, they think What's going on now is this is the best it's gonna get, and I'm sorry. This is not the best. This is it's, it's going it's worse and it's gonna get worse. So let's not delay. We're starting off in uh verse 25, and uh I take my time. Well, not take my time, but I read and explain as we read together. Okay, Matthew chapter 24, starting at verse 25. It say, Behold. I have told you before, as Jesus told his disciples now, wherefore, if they shall say unto you, behold, he is in the desert, go not forth, behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not, for as the lightning cometh out of the east. And shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Now, this is what he's saying in verse 26 and 27. Verse 25, 26, and 27. If somebody got to tell you Jesus coming away like that, you know it's false. Because our Father, the Most High, you know, he ain't got the he don't need, he, he need no, no introduction. When he come on the scene, the whole world know. Not just, oh, dude, some preacher dude, you know, you probably just met with her like that. Somebody on TV, all this. Oh, let's just say, uh, let's just say somebody just say he is, he's in America, or say, let's say, for instance, or let's say somebody say he's in Africa, or uh, wherever he's at. Not no one country will know. You know, the whole world know that just how, you know, big of an event it will be. Okay, now we move on to verse 28. It say, for who, for wheresoever the carcass is, there will be eagles be gathered together. All right. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened. And the moon shall not give her light. And I'm sorry, somebody will call my the, the enemy, knowing I'm studying. And say, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Man, long story short, the day of his coming is going to be so much, you know, going on. At verse 28, where you see where well, they say the carcass shall be gathered. And, and and there will be eagles gathered together. It's going to be so much carnage. You know, so much, you know, dead and all that going on. And that, not just to mention, you know, when Jesus do come on the scene, the animals, 
they know and understand. You know what I'm saying? Because like I say, when he come down with all that power, man, it ain't it ain't going to be no joke. Man, ain't gonna be, if you're an unbeliever, it ain't going to be no joke for you. But, and then it say about immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened. You know, it's 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 true. The sun going to be dark and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven. And the power, so long story, the elements going to start to break down. All the elements that God had already predestined and already from since from since the beginning of time, if you have read Genesis, when God had uh, you know, He set the set forth the stars and the moon and the sun, all that He let you know when He made and created it. All that going is is why it's going to break down because He put a stop to that time. You know, He put a stop to all of that. Okay, let's say in verse thirty, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and with great glory. See now, when it mentions about, in verse 30, And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in clouds of, of heaven and with power of great, great glory. That refers to mainly Israel. Because I don't know if you all have studied or read about Israel. Man, I feel bad for Israel. I feel so bad because even though God came through, well, Jesus Christ was birthed through that through their bloodline. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, they continuously, continuously neglect, you know, like deny him. And he's so he revealed himself unto them more than I say more than any any other nation, you know. And and just it's sad, man. It's sad, you know, for them. They gonna go through so much, but it's on their own fault, you know. It's not like you know nobody made them, but it just just sad. But anyway, verse thirty one. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect. With the four winds from one end of of the heaven to the other. Okay. Now, okay, let me, let me explain that. And say he shall send his angels with a great sound of the trumpet. Long story, he'll come with a great trumpet. You know, it'll be a great sound. The whole earth gonna hear it. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other. And all that all that mean is everybody gonna be gathered up. All God's people, dead and alive, at that time. Okay. Now I say, verse thirty-two. Now, okay. Now he's teaching a parable. Now, now this one you really got to pay attention and listen. Now, learn a parable of the fig tree. Listen, when his branch is yet tender, and putteth forth leaves, he know that. The summer is near. You know, he's talking about a fig tree, you know, seeing that the branches, you know, and, you know, seeing that the branches, you know, gather up together, shall gather together. It's a, oh, I'm reading something. I'm sorry. It's like when his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, you know, that summer is near, you know, seeing that, you know, the fig tree growing and all that. And it's saying, so likewise, ye, when ye shall see all these things, Know that it is near, even at the doors. Now, what he's saying is, everything I read up, you know, from verse um, 33, when all that stuff, all the birth pains and stuff, in and stuff, if you have spiritual wills and knowledge, understand, and can notice and not deceive, you know, okay, man, I'm, I'm awaiting Christ any day, you know, like his coming, you know. So, not saying that you know when, but you just know it's soon. You don't know how soon, but you know it's soon. And so, um, and say, in verse, let's say, verse 34. Very last saying to you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And I, you know, 
And he just said, now, he, even though he's talking to his disciples now, you got to understand, it, he's explaining something to his disciples. But he's not talking about that generation that's that was alive at that particular time. Because if the end of the world going to come with them, I wouldn't even be here. Nobody, none of y'all be here. It just wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense. You know, he was talking about whenever, whatever generation be alive when he do come, when all the birth pains stuff start. And they say, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And all he's saying is, you know, God's word is true. You know, and, and we see it every day being fulfilled. And I, not to mention, I I challenge you to try God's words, you know, in, in your Bible. When you read it, some of, the, some of the stuff that he says, like how to live and what, you know, how, how you should live, stewardship, how you should ca carry yourself and all this stuff. I've I've tried it myself and it works. That's why I'm prospering in all areas of my life, spiritually and in the physical. And uh, in verse, I'm starting to get back to verse 36. But of that day and hour, knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. See, he, he just explained. He, he, the angels don't know. Only person know is, is our heavenly father. But as the days of no e were see when that say no e you know you gotta remember y'all the bible is in english right it's translated to english but all this stuff translated from greek and hebrew and all that so noah you know his name is spelled as n-o-e no e so it's a but as the days of no e were all shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noe entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And all he's saying is, it's going to be so much hell and chaos and so much when you when you not a child of the son of man, you're gonna be so caught up that when it do come, you be like, what? Like it, it gonna blow you be like I ain't like of course it's gonna be too late for them, but if they had a chance like to just stop time and just think, they were like, Man, I ain't realize all this stuff was going on around me. You know, and I ain't know it was the end time, you know, like you know, just like the days of Noah. Noah was telling preaching, telling them, Hey man, look. You need to get it right, man. You know, whatever, you know, he, he was preaching whatever God told him to do. And wasn't nobody studying that. Just like now. Nah, I'm being honest, man. Don't nobody care about God's word. Unbelievers. They like, man, get out of my face with that, man. I don't want to hear that, you know. And just, hey, that's on them. But you just do your part. And so, it's say, verse 40. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Now what now what this saying is much trip, like I say, when he come down, just like in the days of Noah, one shall be taken, you know, one shall be left, one shall be saved, one shall be, you know, be destroyed, utterly destroyed, really. You know, you you gonna go through hell. Cause like I say, cause when he come, he ain't coming with no uh peace, man. I, I was I'm I'm cool, man. He coming, man. He coming for he coming for his. You know, our savior, man. He he he's no joke. You know, he he and like I try to tell most people, the most dangerous person you can be around is somebody that's calm. One reason why, first off, you can't judge him. You know, you you like, man, I don't know what he gonna do. You know, talking about because you always second guess thinking, like, is he nice or is he? It was up, and before you know it. He might pop off and go upside your head and you like, damn, he didn't beat the mess out of me, you know. Cause, you know, but I ain't saying I was savior like that, y'all. It was just just throwing like a little analogy right there. But how I was savior, he he first come peaceful. He tried to be cool with everybody. Like God said in his word, if, if it be possible, be live at peace with every 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 man, you know, everybody. You know, but sometimes you got people want to try you, you know, like I say. Like I like it's a guy that on, on YouTube I be listening to Jerome Twenty Four. He be like, 
our savior, he was meek, not weak. And like when you think about it, he he was. He was meek, but he wasn't weak. By any long shot. Every time they try to come at him with that, he was like, man, don't play with me like that. You know, even though I, I'm coming all cool, don't think I won't handle you. You seen what happened when what he did up in uh the synagogue when they was uh you know, the money changers, you know, they was doing all that stuff in the church. I mean, he flipped that church out, you know. So anyway, uh, let's get back to the word. I just want to, you know, just give you a little explanation at that little point. Okay, in verse 41, two women shall be grinding in at the meal, and the one shall be taken and the other left. Watch, therefore, for ye know not what what hour your Lord doth come. You now he's saying, be ready at all times. Like, hey, always be on alert mode every day. You know, and say, but know this, that if the good man of the house had known in which, I mean, in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. It say, but it say, therefore, be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the son of man cometh. And it was just saying that, you know, just... Uh, and he was he was just saying that uh just like you know when a thief come, you know, like I said, a good man, the hard working man, person that actually, you know, works for him. When a thief get ready, well I mean like let's say you at you might not even be at home, actually, matter of fact, but when a thief come, you you don't know. You know, that that just say man, you get a call out the blue, like you at work doing your own little thing. Hey man, somebody just uh broke in your house, man, stole everything. What? You know, you like what well, you, you don't know what to think, you know. So that, that's how the son of man gonna come. He gonna come at a time that you be like, man, I ain't expect that. You are gonna be so blow, you know. But uh, and that's why he just just keep repeating it over and over. Notice, I I want y'all to pay attention when you read. Notice, like if you read something, you be like, damn, I don't know why he keeps saying. You know, pay attention to this, pay attention to that, or uh, don't be deceived about that, or. Uh, be ready at all times, or you know, be faithful. You know, all like all this stuff. Just you know, you notice how he it, it keeps repeating your mind. You like I keep reading, like I'm kind of reading the repeat because these are the biggest things that most people need to focus on, and the most people that they don't, they overlook it. You know, but they should. These are the main things you should focus on. Okay, now we in verse. Uh, okay, that boy. How do you not know? Verse 45. Yeah, 45. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord have made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord, delay of his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken. And then smite mean beat, you know, hit a beat, whatever. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Okay. The verse 51 was the last verse. Okay. Of, of uh, our Bible study. But I've been explaining that little parable. Now all he's saying is that. He said blessed the servant that when he come. You know. He doing everything he's supposed to do. He going to get it all. He going to get crazy blessed. You know. And, and imagine. Imagine. You being a person, I give example. You know, I watch, you know, I watch, I pay attention to things. I watch like little kids, you know, like when they play and stuff. I notice how I watched this one time. I watched this, this little kid. And then, of course, parents, they be around trying to watch their kid, but they ain't going to watch their kid all the time. Like, just be watching the whole time. They might be wanting to talk or do something, whatever. I notice how when a little boy mom come around, you know, he cool. Like, when I say cool, like, he acting like, you know, everything. 
you know, he being nice to the other kids and all this other stuff. But then I, I noticed that, like, let's say, like, when his folk mom them leave or something like that, you know, a little time, you know, he is almost like he, like, Mr. Big Shot, tough guy, you know, like, kind of, you know, pushing the other kids around. I was like, damn, he was that good a second. I see, I watched, I watched a little kid do that. You know, I was like, wow, what they doing? You know, I was like, but I was like that, you know, so I can't say that, you know, like, I'm perfect or nothing like that. But I'm just saying, you know, Try to give you like a little example, like where you could think, you know, because we do it all the time. You know, when I, let's say a supervisor walk off, man, bump you, you know, you might go off on somebody, you know, but supervisor come back and run, oh, how you doing, sir? You know, you act, you act all cool, you know, but, uh, hold on one sec, but, uh, but anyway, um, the main thing that, you know, I wanted to read. You know, we want. I want us to study this because we're about to get ready to go into Jud. You know, what well, Jude, Jud, whatever. Some people pronounce it a different way. Jud, Jude, whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. J U D E. You know, but uh, depending on, you no, know, when we when we get back into that, I want to go over this because I want you to understand that these times are here. You know. And I don't want you to take it lightly. I don't want nobody to take this lightly. You know, I might laugh and joke, you know, right now. Because, right, I ain't, you know, we chilling. You know, but take this word seriously. When, like, when in your own personal time, like what I do, I make time to read God's word and study. You know, in my own personal time. You know, I, I'm i quite sure, well, I ain't going to say sure, but you probably can spell an hour or two a day. I mean, here, you know, uh, like try to catch an hour or two a day. I mean, you might can't do it every day, but at least try to do it. Every, if you miss a day, let it just be one day. Don't don't like uh, once a week, you know, like that. I mean, that's better than nothing, but try, you know, and like really study. Because when you really study, man, you, you'll be surprised how the Holy Spirit, you know, he, he embeds the word. That's why I like usually, like I told you, I pray. Before I start, it's like when I when I say in my prayer, I said let the word manifest within me. You know, it's like it embeds into you, you know, into your soul, your spirit. Of course, that be the Holy Spirit, you know. And when you, and then like I say, when you need it, it'll come back up. You be like, man, how did I, like, how did I remember that? It's, you know, because really, it's just the Holy Spirit relaying under you. And sometimes He'll even show you an example. Like you'll watch some, it may be some on TV or something like that. And based on what you read, it might show up, it might manifest itself in real life, maybe on a TV show or looking at somebody else's life, you know, or in your life, you know, or a friend, like whatever, you know, so uh, I just want to just tell you all, you know, I'm glad that you all push and make and subscribe, you know, to learn God's word and truly, you know, study for your oneself, you know, and not depend on like your pastor because I'm just being honest, and most, not all, not all, but most church houses, church houses, you know, I'm not going to say the church because we are the church, but most church houses, you know, you go to, you know, you're not going to hear God's word being truly preached, and you're not going to hear deliverance. You're not going to hear deliverance. They just going to give you something to tick your ear, make you feel good, and all that, and you and get you go right back home, go right back to your sin, your daily ascending when you hear god word it's if something wrong with you like if you and you know it's something you ain't got right like it's one of you know it's something in god word that you know you ain't you struggling with the spirit gonna hit you he gonna be like man you know he talking to you you know you need to get that right or you need to know do it do that you know and that's how you know if uh the you know the preacher or pastor or whatever is preaching true true doctrine you know because he not gonna baby sugarcoat nothing you know, he ain't he ain't there to be your friend. He there to be your shepherd. But get what? Every soul that he he miss out on, it's gonna be held on him. Because especially if, if he know what he supposed to be teaching and he ain't, it's on him. And it's gonna be bad news for him. But uh so I just you know, I just wanna uh let y'all know that and uh Amen, you know, God bless you and I pray, you know, you see me again, I pray I, I see you you all again. So uh thank you for tuning in.
Get out the noon for me because I'm just got to go to work. All right. Thank you.